Hey there, I am Haley, and I'll be showing you how to install and use this asset for your project. Simply go to the package manager, find the package and click on import. You can test out the basic functionality of the asset by opening up the example scene, entering a prompt and clicking on the generate image button. To access all the features provided in this asset, click on window and then editor. The extension has been divided into different sections that provide a different set of controls which we will go through in this walkthrough together. The asset has been updated with different diffusion models that you can choose from. In the prompt field, enter a short description of the image you would like to generate and click on generate image. Just as an example, we will create a small RPG character in less than 10 seconds. The best part about this asset is, you can retry as many times as you'd like. You can use the negative prompt to exclude things from the generation. You can change the dimensions of the generation in multiples of 64. A cinematic shot of a car would require a landscape image, whereas a full body character design would better fit into a portrait. The number of steps determines the refinement that the model performs. Prompt strength dictates how heavily the generation relies on the prompt and sampler is the initial noise pattern the model works with. This model is deterministic, which means you can generate the same image provided all the parameters are kept the same. If you uncheck the auto button and manually enter the name of the image, you can generate it again. You can also use the asset to generate icons. Simply select a mask from the drop-down, place the icon sample in the match image section and enter a prompt. Here we have chosen an image of a tree submitted by one of our users on the forum. We can create multiple variants of this tree with a click of a button. Creating variations for your textures can be easily done in seconds using the match image feature. Create artwork from rough sketches with a feedback loop. Place your rough sketch in the match image button, enter an apt prompt and generate an image. Click on the last button to auto pick up the last generation and click on generate. Repeat this process for further refinement. Elongated textures or oblong sprites can now be used with the image to image translations. You can switch the target location to any folder of your choice. The images will automatically be placed in that folder upon generation to keep your project clean and tidy.